Hi, and thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Tina. I'm an analytical thinker from the linear world who is about five years into my self-awakening journey. And I'm here to share with you a few tools which have served me well as I've progressed on my path in what I hope is to the truest version of myself. I assume as this video popped up as you clicked on spiritual awakening or self-awakening, and perhaps you're even curious about the analytical mind piece in the title as well. So before we waste your time, let's just make sure this video is meant for you, and I'll get into the quick who, what, where, when, why, and how of what this video is about. First, the who. Again, my name is Tina. I recently turned 50 years old. I live up in Maine. I grew up in the conservative insurance industry beginning at age 18. I am somewhat linear-minded and always have been. I love my spreadsheets. I'm being wild and crazy right now wearing blue instead of my typical black, tan, or gray, which I'm wondering if you can relate to that at all. Um, but what changed about five years ago is I took my first reluctant, sometimes as a skeptic, um, took those steps onto this path of self-awakening. And if I'm truly being honest with you, I probably didn't even realize that I was stepping onto a path of self-awakening. It was more subtle changes that were happening in my life around self-healing or just seeing who I wanted to be in this new version of myself. Um, so who this video is intended to reach are people like me, people who have been on this path our entire lives, right? Pretty much a set path of school, college, career, you know, perhaps partner or marriage, the house, the pet, the, the kids, and the parents. And then all of a sudden we start feeling this pull, a pull to something more, and we can't really define it, but it, it can be haunting at times. And, you know, to the point that you just looked up Spiritual Awakening on YouTube. So perhaps you're looking to see what this is all about or what's going on or how you can kind of enter into this flow or perhaps you're already in the flow and because you do have similar, a similar personality, perhaps you're just looking for a little more guidance, a few more tools, maybe some validation even because we all do look for that. Um, as far as the why and the what, um, you're probably curious why at 50 would I start a YouTube channel. Um, it's not just to embarrass my children. As teenagers, I'm sure they will be completely mortified, but we progress. Um, really what has happened over the last five years, and truly maybe the last two and a half years, um, is that writing a book has, has fallen smack in the middle of my path, and I was uh, by no means a writer prior to, to that. And it began as a journal, keeping a, a daily journal of my spiritual escapades. And I really thought that the book was going to be that. And what evolved at the turn of the decade, so last January, was that kind of got pushed to the side a bit. And there was this guidance or this draw to start kind of formulating a platform as far as a website and all that. But I didn't know where that was going to take me until... Um, probably last spring, I would say, just so just under a year ago, um, the book came back. And what came was that that journal was to be a reference tool of sorts to write this book for people like me. Because quite honestly, it took me five years to get to where I am now, and I still have so much more to do, but it can't take you five years. Um, you're not alone in feeling this pull. We're all feeling this pull to something more. And so my job or what I'm being guided to do is to offer you the tools which have served me well and get them to you ASAP um, because it can't take you the five years that it took me. Um, so that's what this is all about and what's funny is that I in doing this YouTube thing because I'm technology is not my forte um, I looked up spiritual awakening and, and self-awakening on YouTube, which I laugh that I had never even considered that. Um, and what I found was that there were videos about, you know, the five steps of spiritual awakening, the seven steps of spiritual awakening, and, and what that process will be. Um, you know, some of it's the emotional roller coaster of that. This is not that. This video is more for people like me and giving you the tools that you can move forward on your path and kind of create that journey for you. I do want to share real quickly a, a couple things that have um, come to me 
is on this journey and, and not way of what you need to do but of awareness I guess and that is that we all need to remember that this journey is unique to us and we can go on this journey with others and we can do similar things but truly we need to venture off and try our own things because we are all unique creatures and our paths are going to be unique and the, the pace at which we go down those paths will be unique. I know a few people who have gone a similar path you know be it in what they bring in as far as um, maybe certifications or licenses and things but they end up at vastly different places at the end and that's great that's what we should all be doing I mean the fact that I'm writing a book quite honestly never never entered what I thought I would be doing or where this path would take me so that's my first step be patient with yourself and know that we're all unique and we need to go different ways the other part is we're all gonna go at a different pace um, for those who we know them they're open, right? Their, their hearts are open. They've been, they've been intuitive in some degree their entire lives. When they step on this path, the light flows through and the intuition flows. Um, that's not us. Um, we have tended to be, if I may kind of lump us all together, probably pretty close off. We analyze, we justify, we, we question, um, we like control of it a little bit in our minds didn't allow us to be that way. The intuition was there, or is there, um, but maybe not flowing outward. So we step on this path and it's gonna take us a little bit to kind of move some of those layers off before our intuition really starts going. And we need to be okay with that, we need to be patient with that, and we need to not judge ourselves. So those are two quick tips that I wanna pass along. Because at the end of the day, this whole journey is really about doing our part to raise the universal consciousness. And how we do that is opening our heart space, you know, sending love, light, kindness, compassion, and gratitude out into the world. And if we can live our life from that space every day, then we're already contributing to the universal consciousness. And we can move through those healing things or whatever else, what other baggage we need to work through in due time. But if we can live in that space, it's just fan fantastic. And that's really what a lot of this is about. So what is this, the plan for this YouTube uh, channel initially? Well, the book is 13 chapters. 13 is a special number, but it is not truly, there's not just 13 steps. It just happens. I felt important. It, I felt it important to have 13 chapters in my book. And so that's what we're going to follow along as we do this. We're going to mirror that. And so each Thursday afternoon, my plan is to post a video. I'm going to try to keep it around the 15 minute mark-ish and I will go into a new chapter. So for example, next next week will be on believing and how we kind of step into that and embrace that and what that means for us. And what else? Um, last year when I did start the, the platform, I did form a website and it's tinalmoody.com. And if you wish, you don't have to, you can go on there and on the homepage you can subscribe. And every Monday morning I share an email to those who are subscribed. And it has evolved over time, but where it is now is that I send messages of inspiration to begin your week. It's the only email that I send out. I try not to inundate anybody's uh, inbox at all. But in October of last year, I started receiving messages from guides, hmm, new to me. And um, so each Monday morning I sit down and see what they want to send through and I send that out to you. Um, and it's usually pretty quick and easy and maybe an update on a book or anything else that happened in the week. So there's that. And I guess that's it. Um, you know, you can think of this, these videos, therefore the book, as really an outline which you can use to build your self-awakening story around. And with that, I thank you so much for joining me in this video and hanging in there with me. I truly hope that you'll join me next Thursday afternoon as we discuss believing. Thank you and have a great week.